Focus in on Missouri, where sports betting narrowly passed. The results went final this morning. KMBC 9's Andy Alcock live at the Truman Sports Complex with, um, well, the local support on this issue. And uh, there sure was that, Andy. Yeah, absolutely, Chris and Laura. The Chiefs, Royals, and Current all supported passage of this constitutional amendment, and there was big money at stake. Billions with a B, we're told. Also, according to state records, close to $30 million was donated to convince Missourians to either vote yes or no on this issue in October alone. Online sports betting interests donated millions for the yes campaign, and several casinos did the same for the no campaign. The result was a razor thin margin. Yes, on Amendment 2, won by less than 7,300 votes out of more than 2.9 million cast. St. Louis Cardinals President Bill DeWitt is among the leaders of Missouri's professional sports franchises who've been working to get sports betting in the state. I think it's great for Missouri. You know, it's going to generate a ton of tax revenue. I think it'll, my personal opinion is we'll, we'll, we'll do better than even our estimates. And um, I'm just really glad that uh, we were able to get it done. And supporters say that 10% tax on sports bets will largely go to education in Missouri and also to help problem gamblers. Reporting live at the Truman Sports Complex, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. All right, Andy, thanks. And teams like the Chiefs and Royals will get more money from advertising with the online betting services. The state is supposed to set up the system for it by December 1st, 2025.